Hello to all my friends that are listening to this broadcast today. I'm so glad to be friends, have friends with you all across the network. And I thank you and I trust today that you're well and doing good. I want to call your attention to Psalms 121 and verse number one, some of the great scriptures in the Bible. This is a song of ascents. That means simply that they were on their way to the trip to Jerusalem. Sometimes it was a treacherous climb. Sometimes many people even had difficulty on the road. It was a long treacherous climb up to the Jerusalem temple and where they always rejoiced when they were able to get to the house of God. And the writer of 121 says, verse one, I will look unto the hills, or unto the holy hills, which cometh my help. You know, a lot of us are looking to the hills and a lot of things happened on those hills in Jerusalem. A lot of great uh, things happened there on the holy mountains where God appeared to his people in a lot of different ways. And uh, my help cometh from the Lord. I tell you what, our help is coming from the Lord today. We're going through some difficult times in our society today. There's many things that are going on that causes fear about the pandemic that we're going through, and people are uh, having a great difficult time dealing with that. Some of you that are out there today have families that are going through this difficult time, and my prayers are for you today that God would touch you and minister to you and give you strength today. Uh, I will look unto the hills from which cometh my help, and then in verse number two, the other writer says, but my help cometh from the Lord. Folks, I want to tell you, there's a lot of help we have in this society today. We have some social help that helps many people that are retired today. We have different avenues of things that happen. But folks, initially, everything that happens in our life cometh from the Lord. Our help cometh from the Lord. If you need strength in your body today, your help can come from God. If you need healing in your body today, your help can come from God. If you're going through a financial difficult time and you don't have a job, God knows where the job is. He'll even bring water in the desert. I tell you, God is a miracle working God. He'll do great things for you if you'll just put your trust in Him. The Bible tells us to trust in the Lord with all of our heart. And lean not to our own understanding and all our ways acknowledge Him and He will direct our paths. Friend, I want to tell you this is a great time we're living in today. Miracles are happen, happening right now. You know, there's a lot of things many people don't understand about the election going on today. But folks, I want to tell you when you pray the Lord's will, we pray that the Lord's will be done in every situation. And God is in control of everything. And whatever is going on in your life today, believe God for a miracle. Believe God to do something in intervention. If you're having trouble in your home with family, with drugs and kids that are having difficult in a just in society, just believe God that God's going to give a miracle. Never, ever give up. Uh, stand on the promises of God. Lean on the everlasting arms of God. He will uphold you with his right hand. Uh, I'm glad that the Lord is our keeper. He said he'll be with us from now and forevermore in that last verse of the 121st chapter. He will be good to his people. He will watch over his people. He will take care of his people. Promises of God are throughout the word of God. And the word of God says he will supply all of your need according to his riches and glory. If you have need, uh, he will meet your every need. Uh, I want to encourage you today to hold on to that unchanging hand. We used to sing that song many years ago. Hold to God's unchanging hand. I want to tell you, holding on to God's unchanging hand is a wonderful thing. And when we hold on to God, regardless of what the outside circumstances look like, whatever the difficulties look like, just hold on to God and believe God. If you're away from God and you're not right with God, it's time to bow on your knees. It's time to get on your face and call out to God. It's never bad to kneel before the Lord God and pray. How long has it been since you've knelt and prayed and asked God for a miracle in your life? 
How long has it been since you trusted in God? Folks, we're getting to that day where people are, that are trusting in God, those that worship God are have, going to have to worship Him in spirit and in truth. And that day is now. We're living in the last days. Jesus is coming soon. Are you ready to meet Him? He'll forgive your sins if you'll only pray and ask Him to come into your life. And I thank you for letting me come into your home today or on your mobile phone or wherever you're at. And thank you so much for listening to this broadcast today. And I will talk to you again the next time.